Going up with the great white lock. Uh, question one. It's, it's subtraction. No, you have to find what's in the blank. So, uh, twelve minus six equals six. Uh, six plus six is equal to twelve. Twelve minus something equals six. Uh, basically, what you have to do is just uh find out what the missing number is. Here it's six. Uh, because there's two sixes and there's only one six in there. There's one twelve. You can also do like you can also check by doing twelve minus six. If you do that, that's zero. Twelve, twelve, six. That is true. So it, the missing thing is six. Two plus eight equals ten. Ten minus two equals eight. Ten minus something equals ten minus something equals two. The missing number is eight. So, and we can also test by doing 10 minus 8, and then that equals 2, so that is 8. Okay, 40 plus 4 equals 44, 4 plus 40 equals 44, 44 minus something equals 40. Missing number is 4, test by doing 44 minus 40, no, minus 4, 4 minus 4 equals 0, just pretend there's a zero there. Four minus zero equals four. It does equal forty, so that is four. Thirty-five plus sixteen equals fifty-one. Fifty-one minus sixteen equals thirty-five. Fifteen I mean, fifty-one minus something equals sixteen. Missing number is thirty-five. Fifty-one minus thirty-five. Uh five, four, eleven. Is six four minus three equals one that is 16 so it is 35 multiplication okay two times six that basically means you could do like six plus six or you could do two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two, plus two. or you could do like one you go two three four five six and And if you clean it up, it goes 12. 6 times 8. So what you could do is, you could do 6 plus 6 plus 6, or you could do 8 plus 8 plus 8 6 times, or you could do like draw it 1, 2. And if you count it up, it equals 48. 10 times 4. So, uh, it's just 10 times 4. You multiply it up, and then you multiply it to the left. So, 4 minus 0 equals 0. Any, any number you multiply is 0 is always going to be 0. And then, four, min 4 times 1 equals 4. And basically, anything times 1 equals that number. So this one would be 40. 7 times 6, you could do like... You could 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. 6 times, you could do that. Or if you just do it... If, or if you just count it up, it goes 42. Addition. Sixty-five plus thirteen. Sixty-five plus thirteen. Five plus three equals eight. Six plus one equals seven. This one is seventy-eight. Four plus three. You just do like one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. and you count it up equals seven. Oh shoot, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. It's multiplication. Um, you do one, two, three, four, and you count one, two, three more. You count it up equals seven. 200 plus plus 30. Uh, 0 plus 0 is always going to be 0. 3 plus 0, which also means zero, 3 plus nothing, equals 3. Basically means 0 over here. 2 plus 0 equals 2. So this one would be 230. 15 plus 8. Uh, 8 plus 5 equals 13. You can't put 13 like this. 
So you put it up here. 1 plus 0 equals 0, and you add this number. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. So this one would be 23. Okay, Sally has a total of 15 baseball cards to sell. She is able to sell nine of them to Sammy. How much card does she, does Sally have left to sell? So she has a total of 15 right now. And she she sells nine of them to Sammy. So she loses five. So you subtract it. So you can't subtract five minus nine. Or she got a negative number, which you can't do that. So you would... Uh, from here, this one turns into 0, this one turns into 15. 15 minus 9 equals 6. So th she has 6 baseball cards left. Okay, Mark has 15 buttons. She He has he buys 6 more from the store, but loses 3 of them. How many buttons does he have left? So he has a total of 15 buttons. Says he buys 6 more from the store, so he has to add 6. Which that would equal 21. So he has a to total of 21 right now. And it says he loses 3 of them. So you subtract 3. And if you do that, it equals 18. So he has 18 buttons left.